Go to preferences, enable the import images as plain add-on, press shift A and add a reference image of kunai as a plane. And now go to horizontal view and switch the mode to material preview. Press shift A to add a torus, view 6 radius, align it with the reference image and change the scale accordingly. Now add a cylinder, increase its scale on the y axis, duplicate it, scale it down on the y axis and then increase the scale again on the x and y axis just a little bit and place it on the both ends. Press shift A again, add a cube, rotate it 45 degrees on the y axis to get that diamond shape. Go to any mode and start lining up the vertices according to the reference image. Image. Just scale them down, extrude them out, and you're done. And now to connect the torus to the whole thing, select the outer faces of the torus and extrude them out. To add some more details to the cylinder, go to edit mode, add some loop cuts, select every part after every five part by pressing Alt and Shift and scale them down. To add some smoothness, you can also add a subdivision surface modifier. And now for the texture part, you can create a metal material yourself, but if you're lazy like me, you can also use a PBR texture. You can download a set of metal PBR texture from Polyhaven or Pixel Bridge. Import it to Blender and apply it to the material. After applying the material, go to edit mode press A to select the whole thing, press U and Smart UV Project and adjust the size of the UVs to your liking. For the cylinder, it was the same thing, I just imported a fabric texture, applied it and adjusted the UVs. I also added a bevel to everything to give some more realism. You can also add some damage to it by using sculpting brushes or some add-ons. Now just change your render engine to cycles and for some environment lighting, add an HDRI and connect it to the world output and you're done.